some of the active players in the Australian solar communities are cooperatives. So it is really important for us to understand what is a cooperative and its legal obligations. A cooperative structure is a legally incorporated entity designed to serve the interests of its members. Cooperatives carry on businesses in all sectors and they may be profit-sharing enterprises or non-profit organizations. They serve their members by providing goods and services that may be unavailable or too costly to access as individuals. They share costs and carry on their enterprise under the following principles. Number one, non-discrimination. Number two, democracy. Number three, independence. Number four, education and care for communities. Generally, all members are expected to use or contribute to their cooperative and have an equal say in the running of the organization. Cooperatives are subject to state and territory legislation, the cooperative's national law. So what are the various types of cooperatives? There are two types of cooperatives. Number one, distributing cooperatives. They can distribute any annual profits to members. A distributing cooperative must have share capital and members must own the minimum number of shares specified in the co-op rules. Number two, non-distributing cooperatives. They cannot share profit with members. All profits must further the cooperative's purpose. It may or may not issue any shares to members. If the cooperative does not have share capital, it usually charges members a regular subscription fee. For taxation purposes, non-distributing cooperatives meet the not-for-profit definition. Key elements of cooperative. There are key elements we should know if we are looking at starting our business as a cooperative. Number one, a minimum of five members is required. Number two, they are governed by a board of directors that is elected by the members. Number three, all members must maintain an active relationship with their cooperative by using or contributing to its main activities. Number four, all active members have an equal vote at general meetings, regardless of their shareholdings. Number five, cooperatives are limited liability entities, meaning that members have no direct responsibility for debts of the cooperative. Number six, director of the cooperative owe legal duties to the cooperative and under the law that may lead to prosecution and compensation if they are negligent, reckless, or fraudulent in carrying out their responsibilities. Number seven, cooperatives are formed to provide services to their members rather than to maximize a financial return on investment. Number eight, members are rewarded by having access to less costly or better goods or services these rewards may be in the form of rebates or for distributing cooperatives, there may be limited dividends on their shares. Number nine, anyone who can comply with a cooperative's rule can apply to be a member with the directors making decisions about the suitability of applicants. Number 10, members other than directors can be under 18 though these members cannot stand for office and do not have the right to vote. So let's take a look at the types of members of cooperatives. All cooperative members must be active. The type of members include number one, customer-owned cooperatives. Members jointly purchase goods and services, improving value for money and access to expert advice. Number two, worker-owned cooperative. Members of a worker cooperative are the employees of the cooperative, and the cooperative provides work for its members. Number three, producer-owned cooperatives. 
smaller businesses can group together in producer-owned cooperatives to share supply chain costs and rich markets. Number four, multi-stakeholder cooperative formally allow for governance by representatives of two or more stakeholder groups within the same organization.